Good morning guys, today is Monday and I can finally start working on my two commissions that I've had to wait on and I can also finally start getting my tiger dragon done. And the main reason for that is my eyes that I ordered for them finally came in. We're gonna work on the hermit crab cage. I'm finally gonna switch them into a new aquarium. I don't have everything that I absolutely want to do it, but I have enough to be able to finally switch them over and they've been needing it. And so I'm gonna start on some clay heads first. I think we'll start on the galaxy raptor and then we're gonna move on to a few other things and probably after lunch we'll mess with the hermit crabs but before I get started on that I need to get these boxes out of the way these are what everything came in for the hermit crabs and I forgot to break them down and get them into the trash so I'm gonna break them down and get them out of my way because even stuck in between the wall and the fridge they're kind of taking up a lot of space Normally I would save boxes, but these ones kind of got rained on, so I don't really want to keep them. Okay, I think I'm just going to set this behind the trash for now, and then I'll take it out later. But yeah, everything's kind of roughly about the same stage. I've got all the sewing done, I've got most of the clay pieces done. I just need to do the heads, except for this one. This one hasn't had any clay pieces made. I'm also going to keep it kind of secret because it's the next dragon after our tiger dragon, so yeah. But yeah, I need to get everything out of the way and we're going to start on the galaxy raptor head. So I'll probably leave the clay pieces here so I have something to kind of use as size reference, but everything else needs to get out of the way. Anyways, I got my piece of foil. I'm going to glue it to something so I have something to hold on to. I'm going to get started on making a raptor head. So just an update, I know last week I was talking about slowing down. I think I'm going to commit to doing bi-weekly tutorials and weekly vlogs. I think it'll keep everything nice and neat and you'll know when I'm posting more often than not. So I figured that would make everything a lot easier to remember. And I do really appreciate everyone understanding why I need to do this and um, I'm going to make it worth it. I'm going to make sure that the projects that we have coming out because of my extra time to work on them will be a lot better. I mean, we're going to have some simple, like, extra projects. My glue gun is creating webs. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have some beginner projects every now and again, just because it's something cute and fun to do, but I really want to get into some really advanced projects, and I also want to try out a bunch of new things as well. So hopefully this will help me do that. Oh, I almost forgot. This weekend we actually reached 19,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. We're so close to reaching 20, like only a thousand away. But like seriously, 19,000? I was like, oh! And it went by quick. I thought we'd have to wait another week from like how average my subscriber rate has been going because it's been going kind of slow and it just kind of went up really quickly and I'm really happy about that. So I thought that was really cool. Another thing that I'm going to look into is to kind of more diversify my Etsy shop because right now it's just, oh I made something, I stick it on Etsy and wait for it to sell kind of thing. But I really should like have certain things that are like consistently on there or even just releases of like multiple things. Kind of like how we did the axolotls, releasing like four of them after we had one go really well. So I want to do more releases. And I think for that we'll probably start off with like small releases. I need to start making like molds and castings more often so that I could do that. Because like making four dragons alone that size, it took me forever. And if I could have casted the heads and the feet, or even just the feet and then made the heads unique, it would have been so much easier. One thing that I'm gonna do to kind of start that is I'm going to kind of design like a cute, really tiny dragon that I can put up for maybe between like 80 or $100. And something that I can like make a bunch of and I can change it up and make them all unique as well. So I need something that has a very simple base to work with but I can change it very easily as well. That way they don't all look the same because I don't want to just have a bunch of the same things posted. I want some of them to be pretty unique.
Okay. It is finally done baking. Get you out of here. And we can start on some lunch now. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Once I can touch it more, I can kind of show it off a bit better. Okay, so now that the stove is empty, I can finally put some food in for lunch. I have this little half flatbread pizza. I had the other half this weekend. You gotta remember this has cardboard in it. <laughs> what was the time? Where is it? 412 minutes. So I'm gonna get that cooking, and while that's going on, I need to actually do dishes because I need the sink empty to clean all the different things in the hermit crab cage. Because I have a bunch of new stuff, but I also want to use a bunch of old stuff, and since it's been so long since I've redone their aquarium, I just want to kind of clean everything up. So, yeah, I don't want to mix my dishes with hermit crab stuff. Okay, so I got the aquarium off of my desk and I need to find both of the hermit crabs. You want to do that first because <laughs> everything is going in some really hot water to be washed. So you don't want to accidentally um, drop your hermit crab into some boiling hot water. And there is Wally. She doesn't want to let go of the coral at all. <laughs> so I think I'll end up washing this later when she lets go of it. So we're going to put them in a little tiny container while we clean everything. And then Dean is right here. I don't think she wants to come out. <laughs> okay, so all of this is going in some hot soapy water. All but the cuddle bone. The cuddle bone, I don't think I'll do that too because it might disintegrate. I also found this outside and I thought I'd give them an extra stick, so I'm going to wash that too. Okay, so I scooped out all the like really dirty stuff and I think I'm going to save this because the mulch that I ended up getting ended up being a little bit too big, so I kind of want a little bit of something small to mix it with. Okay, so here is the aquarium that they are going to go in. I think I'm going to deal with the mulch first and then I'll set up the camera so you guys can watch me decorate it. Also, I need to deal with adding the extra extension cord because there's no more extra outlets. Um, the TV took up all of them with all the consoles and stuff like that, so I need to deal with that too. So I'm going to do that and then all of the decoration and stuff should be clean by then and then we can decorate. Okay, now to figure out where everything should go. I think I'm going to start off with the rocks and the like water dishes and stuff. Also, in the other one, I had this jar and I used it to make a tunnel. So I think I'm going to continue to do that because they like having hidey holes. And right now I'm kind of limited on like different things for them to hide in. So I think I'm going to bury that over here. I think it'll look cool to have this right on top of it. Yeah, there. And then even with the small aquarium, I did have trouble keeping humidity in here, so I think we're going to have two water dishes. I'm thinking, like, put one here, and then we can have the other one over here. Okay, one more thing before we add them to their new cage. I am going to add their coconut. So I need to connect this to the um, lid basically. I think I'm gonna have it hanging in this corner so I'm gonna connect it in just a corner over here. Okay, I think it's time for them to go in their new home. Here is Wally. Here is Dean. Put her over there. They'll be like, what is going on? <laughs> Okay, now I need to get their light.
they are going to wear themselves out so much looking around and exploring everything. <laughs> My desk is so empty now. It's all nice and clean. <laughs> I don't think I'll decorate it or move it to the bedroom just yet because I don't really have anything to go in this corner right now, so I think I'm just going to leave it until I decide to finally spend the money on my easel, and then I'll move everything around. But right now I'm pretty happy with it. It is a little bit darker over here without the aquarium light, so I might open the window just a little bit more. So I just realized that I haven't done the resin horns for the dragon commission, so I can't start on the clay head yet, but we can work on the horns today and get those ready so I can work on it tomorrow. So I'm going to figure out what colors and glitters and stuff that I want to use and we're going to pour those. Now a lot of my mica powders and glitters are very vibrant, so I might have to figure out a way to kind of mute them a little bit so they'll work with these colors, because these are the colors that we're going to end up doing the dragon, so I need the horns to kind of go with it a little bit. The scaling is a little bit more vibrant, so maybe I'll try and emulate this a bit more than the fur on the body. Okay, so I think I'm going to use these glitters. This one's just kind of like a frosty white, and this one's kind of more on the turquoise side. And then I'm gonna use these mica powders. These are the lightest ones that I have. There's a nice little blue and then a pink one, and we'll see how these turn out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up just normal resin in this to the amount that I probably will need for the horns. I'm not going to fill the whole thing because I don't want them that large. I'm probably going to fill these halfway. So I'm going to use just normal resin and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of the glitter in it. I'm going to pour that and then I'm going to add one of the mica powders into the leftover resin, pour that and then do another one of the colors and pour that. At worst, we might have to pour resin twice since we're working with two mica powders, but the glitter should be fine mixing with everything. It won't change the color or anything. I really need to get new resin. This one is sticking so bad lately. I think it's starting to get old. It still works just fine, but I have so much of it still and it's getting just gross around the opening. And it's not like I haven't tried wiping the resin away, I just don't know what triggered it to kind of thicken up like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to add a ton of this glitter. I think just adding a hint of it creates just a slight hue change, which looks really pretty. Because I want everything to be very muted with the other colors. I don't want to have like very vibrant turquoise. I am going to go a little heavier on this one though. That's going to look really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some in the horns now. And I'm trying to guess slash watch where it goes so that I can like stop it at the same height. Which is kind of tricky to do. Try not to add too, too much. It's not the prettiest pink, but again, I wanted just a very light pink. Also, the turquoise is kind of messing with it just slightly, but it's still pretty. We do have a little bit left. Let's see what happens if we just add the blue to it. At worst, I think it'll turn purple. Might be harder to see since there's not as much, but it's kind of more metallic-y. I think I'm going to kind of mix it just a little bit because I feel like it's just going to go right in the middle of the horn and not get seen. Now obviously I won't be able to demold these today so you won't get to see what they look like yet. So I think what I'll end up doing is once I take them out of the molds I'll show a picture on Instagram or something. And that should be a lot easier than waiting a whole week for next week's vlog. So yeah, whenever these are done there'll be a picture on Instagram, Bubbly Leaf Creations. Anyways, I think I'm going to call today's vlog done, mainly because the hermit crabs did take a lot longer than I thought they would. Plus, I've been wanting to try and work out and try yoga lately, and it's at a good time where I don't have to start dinner, so I'm going to start that and see how it goes. And I don't really feel like doing yoga on camera, so <laughs> we'll leave that out for now. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, to all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!